So you may have heard it before on the internet or from a friend or from a welder out in the industry that you don't need certifications to get on jobs. The conversation piece of this is, hey man, you don't need those certifications because the companies nowadays, you just take a weld test for them and you go work. The problem with that is you don't know anybody. If you don't have any experience, how do you get that weld test for your first welding job? And so that's what I'll be going over today with you guys on this whiteboard is breaking that down and showing you why that's mostly false, but there is a little bit of truth to it. So let's get into that. The whole reason for construction is fixing or building things. So in the welding industry or in any industry that deals with building things or construction, you're gonna have a facility that needs to be worked on. Whether it be new construction, they're building it from the ground up, or they're doing a shutdown or outage, which means they're gonna fix on this plant or facility for a couple weeks until it gets back up to optimal running speeds and procedures. So you have a plant or facility right here, and this place needs to shut down for four to six weeks just to fix um, anything that may be messed up, okay? Now, this plant or facility needs a contractor to come in union or non-union. Now, it doesn't matter if it's union or union that gets the work, but this facility needs to pay somebody to fix it and get it back up to running. The union companies and the non-union companies have an HR person, okay? This HR person is calling lists of welders all day long and the welders are calling the companies and the HR people. This HR person doesn't know what you look like. The HR person doesn't know that you could be the best welder in your town. The HR person, frankly, doesn't care that much about you, okay? What they care about, the HR person's goal is to man up this company's you know, workforce for this job site to get fixed because the company would like to make money and the individuals here would like to make money. Now, these companies and facilities, um, they are governed by safety organizations and different other companies that make sure that this plant or facility isn't harming the environment or harming the communities that they're in. So the big thing is safety, okay? These plants or facilities have to have safe unions or contractor companies to come in and work there. So a lot of these places require OSHA, they require a basic plus training, and they may have a couple of other um, trainings or certifications that you have to have to work in this plant or facility. Um, some of them may be NCCER, may be Twit Card as well. A Twit Card is like a transportation ID card. So before this company can bid a job or get work in this plant or facility, the workers have to all have the same training to be in this facility because these facilities are governed by safety and different organizations. Now, if this union or non-union company doesn't have welders already with them that have this training or certification, these companies have to pay money for these welders to go into this facility. And let's say for the sake of it, this facility needs 10 welders, okay? So, these plants or facilities need 10 welders to fix on them for four to six weeks. The non-union or union companies have to pay their welders to get the training to go into this facility. So the HR person, they're looking for the best candidates for this job, okay? So if your name doesn't have anything attached to it, if your resume doesn't have anything attached to it, it's gonna be really hard to catch the eye of the HR person slash companies, okay? Most people that are learning how to weld um, they're probably getting a certificate that qualifies them to weld. So it's a certificate of completion. It says, hey, I can weld, but it's not really a hard certification, okay? And in the welding industry, um, certifications hold weight, whether they be industry certifications or whether they be AWS certifications or ASME. So these are welding certifications that hold weight. So if you go on an AWS job, or if you go on an ASME job and you have those certifications, most of the time you can walk onto the job. Um, if not, they may accept them, but you'll still have to take a weld test. So let's recap what we have so far. This company or facility needs to shut down for four to six weeks to fix on it. They need a company to come into the facility and work on it. Now, this facility has to have safe workers and companies to fix the facility. And if they don't have those individuals with the training to be safe and it proves that they can you know, work and be safe and um, you know, not cause any harm or issues, 
then the company has to pay money for the workers to get this training. And then the HR person is trying to find the best candidates for these jobs. So here is the KWI difference. When you start calling these companies and contractors, or when you graduate KWI, and you have AWS certifications and other industry training. So at KWI, when you weld, you're gonna get certifications. And you're also gonna get other industry training, like OSHA 30, um, we, have, we get you your basic plus, we get you your TWIT card, we get you your um, ASHE CPR and first aid, NCCER, NCCCO. So we get you welding certifications. When you take your monster weld test, when you take any type of weld test and pass it at KWI, you get an AWS certification with that, as well as these other trainings. Whenever you start calling these companies and contractors and your name pops up here with AWS certifications that prove that you can weld, and also other industry training that proves that you can weld, you're gonna look more valuable and appealing to these companies and HR people than the rest of the other individuals trying to get on that job. Here is the truth to that um, statement that was said before that you don't need certifications, they don't matter, and they don't help you in the welding industry. Here is where certifications play a big part in the industry, and then here is where they don't play as big of a part. Again, if you're 18, and you don't have a dad who is in the industry, you don't have a way into the industry, you don't have um, any connections, and you don't have any experience. As a younger person like myself, um, to get in the welding industry, I didn't have a good way to get in the industry. My dad didn't do it, um, I didn't have any friends, and I didn't have a way into the industry, okay? So, after graduating KWI, with no experience in the welding industry, these certifications and trainings proved that I could do something to get the weld test for this job. So you're still gonna have to take a weld test for whatever company you work for, nine times out of 10. But the real question is, how do you get that weld test for that company? This is how you get the weld test for these companies, is by proving that you can weld and do other things besides weld with certifications. That's how we are getting you onto a job, is providing you with the skills, training, and certification that makes you look appealing to these companies and contractors to get on these jobs to start making money. Now, here's where this uh, certification doesn't play a big role. Myself now, I've been in the industry for seven years. Um, I know the foremans and I know the superintendents and I know the contractors for these jobs. So all I have to do is pick up my phone, call someone that I know, a superintendent, a foreman, anybody on these jobs that I've made connections with, I've networked th with them for the last five, six years. They know me and what I can do and I know them and how they can help me to get on jobs, et cetera. It's all networking. Once you're in the industry for a while, you get to bypass this whole system right here of HR people and putting your resume on these websites and all of that. Once you have these connections, you can skip that, but as an individual with no experience in the industry, nobody to help you to get on a job, no way in the industry, these certifications are extremely important for you getting seen by an HR person or a company to get on these jobs. That is um, the big argument that you'll see a lot of times on social media is welders or individuals are saying that you don't need certifications or any kind of training to get on welding jobs. And sometimes you may be able to get on a job with, without any experience or knowing anybody, you know it happens. But if you're someone who wants to jumpstart your career in the welding industry fast and the appropriate certifications and training to help you look more appealing to these companies and contractors, then you need to understand that they are gonna help you to get the weld test, go on the job to meet people that you can network with to keep you busy and working your whole life.